I need you to go back there to prevent the assassination of John F. Kennedy. JJ, talk to me real quick about how this project came to you. Stephen King uh, is uh, someone, of course, I, I've been a, a fan of forever, and uh, was in Maine doing uh, an interview with him. And I read 112263, loved it, uh, let him know it. About a year or so later, he emailed saying, do you want to do something with it? I said, maybe we shouldn't do it as a movie because it's a pretty big book. He said, that's cool. And the first person that we went to at Bad Robot was Bridget Carpenter, and we were very lucky. You know, we all love the 60s. We all recognize the 60s. It's such a fantastically photographed and captured period of time. The outfits are so slamming. The architecture is so good. The cars are so gorgeous that the temptation is to make it look like you tore a page out of a Harper's Bazaar from 1963. And my goal was to make you enjoy the detail and the time, but also have it feel, um, have texture to it and have grit and reality and to really think about what it meant to be in the 60s. I don't know whether Oswald was the man who did it. You'll figure out the rest when you get there. The fact that it was a limited series, JJ, was that more attractive to someone like James Franco as opposed to signing on for a You have to deal? ask James Franco, <laughs> I think. No, um, what happened was I read this piece that James uh, Franco had written about 112263, how much he loved it, and how pissed he was that I was producing it. Um, so I got his email address and sent him an, uh, an email that said, uh, Dear James Franco, uh, I I'm sorry that I'm producing this. Um, would you like to be part of it? And then he was suddenly a little bit less sorry that I was producing it. And... <laughs> And he directed an episode and did a great job. Once Jake is in the past, the story, the drama, is very much a human drama uh, with this kind of slowly building ticking clock of the fateful day. So for me, the kind of threshold cross. It's so powerful because I, you know, I love his reaction when he comes back in, having gone to the past for the first time. That, that moment for me was just always the fun and powerful moment, I thought. Most of your television work is in broadcast. This is your first big streaming project. What has the experience been like working for Hulu, say, versus, you know, an ABC or something? First of all, the, the, the collaborative process, uh, the creative process, uh, the whole thing was sort of eerily uh, effortless, especially because this was a group of people that they're really hungry to make their mark and to be a player, and they're doing it with this, their programming, and to be part of that uh, was really a fun thing for us because it was it, it wasn't like we were going into a system that has existed in a certain way you know for generations it's like you're going into something that's like just being figured out and so the people who are there are kind of as excited to do the work uh, and to try things out and to break the mold uh, as we were so it was it was a great experience